Oh, hey, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Marshawn Olanio here, your favorite relationship strategist, and I help Christian women that are married or in long-term relationships to stop feeling disconnected and unloved and shift them to feeling heard, understood, and appreciated. Now, we have a very, very special guest with us here today, Mrs. Crystal Taylor from Fitness Is Not A Game. And so I'm going to go ahead and introduce Crystal. We're going to talk about fitness, right? Fitness and how you can bring fitness into your relationship with your spouse and why that is important and what it actually looks like. All right. So let's go ahead and introduce uh, Crystal and then we're going to move on, right? <laughs> Crystal Taylor, the owner of Fitness Is Not A Game, is a health and fitness coach who helps women move off, move off the scale and into the size of their dreams for good. As a certified personal trainer, fitness nutrition specialist, and weight management specialist. She's helped hundreds of people get healthier and lose weight by providing meal plans and workouts that are quick yet effective. As a wife and mother of two young men, she understands the limitations of time throughout the day. However, she's a firm believer that getting healthy is a mindset issue first and focuses on educating people on the benefits of making time for it. Her belief is that Anyone, yes, anyone can reach their health and fitness goals by adopting a balanced lifestyle, not following fad diets. Although you will lose inches on her program, her goal is to help you find the healthier you. As part of her balanced lifestyle, she's an avid avocado lover, but also a beer enthusiast. <laughs> and Crystal has also been featured on Black and Married with Kids, Izzy and Liv, and Naturalists, just to name a few. So welcome, 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 Miss Crystal Taylor. <laughs> hey, Rashad. You know, I'm just How are you? listening to you. I'm like, oh, this is about to be fuzz. I love all of your energy. Thank you so much for having me. Come on. You yeah. are welcome. You are welcome. Okay, well, we're going to just jump right in. I'm loving your energy too, so this is good. This is good. Okay, so I've heard that relationships and fitness go hand in hand. So what does this mean to you, and why do they go hand in hand? You know, it's funny. You say that as soon as you said that it made me think about this meme i saw a long time ago they said that fitness is like a marriage you can't cheat on it and expect it to be successful and i was like oh they just snatch an edge see <laughs> immediately but it's the truth but when it comes to marriage uh relationships and fitness especially with couples together there has to be an alignment with what the health and fitness goals are for a few reasons think about it if um, I decide I want to be fit and you decide you just want to lay on the couch all day and eat bonbons, that's going to be an issue. <laughs> and then nothing wrong with bonbons. You know, I believe, that. she said, I believe in balance. If you like bonbons, eat your bonbons. But at some point, we are going to look at each other differently and, and question what our goals are. So mm -hmm. that is one of the biggest things because, you know, a lot of people, I have friends who have spouses and partners who have health issues and that becomes the mm. focal point of it like i don't want you laying on the couch eating bonbons because i want you to live you know so that exactly. that is another discussion i think a lot of people don't have when it comes to the relationships it's not about the vanity of it yes i want my boo to look good on my arm but mm -hmm. at the same time i just want to be able to look at you longer and i think mm. that that's i think that's a part that people overlook with the importance of exercising, it's not just to be better for myself, it's to be better for everybody around me. And I feel like if you, honestly, as a partner, if my husband just did not care, my goodness, you don't even care if I'm still attracted to you anymore. Like what, right. what's happening? So <laughs> that it all plays a role because it, who doesn't like to catch their spouse or their partner sneaking a peek at them? Okay, you know? yes. <laughs> that's, a, that's a great feeling, you know, and especially, and it's great to get caught staring. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll be called Stan like, oh, and you be like, what are you looking at? Oh, nothing, nothing, nothing. Don't even worry about that. Don't even worry don't, about don't that. Don't even worry looking. about that. You'll find so. out. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. Okay, I love that. And I know that you and your husband have a little competition sometimes going on with your fitness, right? So yeah. um, <laughs> let's move into that. What are some benefits for staying fit as a couple? I know that you mentioned the health benefits, but mm -hmm. literally what are some more benefits? I mean, with being real adults, and let's be real, it does improve your sex life in a number of ways, in a number of ways. One, 
you get more confidence in yourself the more you work mm -hmm. out. It's funny, mm -hmm. you know, you see the funny memes of what Diddy laying on the steps like me after one workout thinking I lost, but it's the truth. When you exercise, you have more confidence in yourself. You start giving yourself more grace because you are proud of the work that you're putting in as opposed mm -hmm. to when you skip your workouts, you know, you look at yourself in the mirror and you're like, man, I got this role here. I know I need to do this. <laughs> and so you walking around with your shoulders all slouched and that's not attractive to anybody. Mm -hmm. However, when you work out, you walking around with a certain level of confidence and exactly, <laughs> and everybody loves confidence, period. Mm -hmm. So not True. only do, are you more attracted to yourself, your partner is more attracted to you when they see you with that certain level of confidence mm -hmm. and you carry yourself, you carry yourself differently in the bedroom and you could perform differently in the bedroom. Let's just be real about it. Okay, now we All know right. <laughs> that is one of the best forms of cardio <laughs> and strength mm -hmm. training you can get. Mm -hmm. And the fitter you are, let's just say. And on top of it, you know, it's like uh, physiological too, because it when we exercise, the muscles pump because of blood flow. What else needs mm -hmm. blood flow? All of our organs need blood flow. And all the flow so the more you exercise you know what i'm saying the more you exercise all of the flows are going where they're supposed to and for men it actually does help with the erectile dysfunction issues because most men who suffer from erectile dysfunction you know erectile dysfunction is just a restriction of the blood flow mm -hmm. so when you are exercising um, and it's just the truth though you know stamina is just the ability of your uh heart and your muscles to be able to sustain over a month of time mm -hmm. and the more you exercise think about it if you have conditioned your heart and your muscles to be able to sustain 30 minutes of running or walking around out you know uh exercise outside you can get you a good 30 minute workout session inside mm -hmm. <laughs> loving it okay 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 so i know you brought up um i know we're speaking about couples right and them working out together and the benefits of them doing that but what about that couple right that that person that literally does want to sit on the couch what are some things that uh, ways to like encourage your spouse or mm -hmm. do, should you just leave it alone and do your own thing and hope that your spouse will catch on and want to work out with you what would you say to couples that are struggling with this you know what i think you hit on it. You have to focus on you. You can invite, you can encourage, you can provide all of the information in the world. But one thing about health and fitness is that it will not work for anyone until they are ready. The more you try to um, force and yeah. gently encourage or whatever, the mm -hmm. more frustrating it's going to be, the more stresses that you could add to the relationship. So what can typically happen is that when you stop and you focus on you and you start making changes, your partner will probably say, you know what? I want to make these changes too. Mm -hmm. I want to do better because they're eating better. They have more energy. They're sleeping better. You know, they just look better in their clothes. I want that too. And so it, it would eventually come up. But if you try to drag somebody along, you're just going to add <laughs> more headaches <laughs> for yourself. So just invite them on walks like my husband and I are going on the walk this afternoon we like to do Sunday afternoons not at the weather finally broke um yes but you can invite them you can um sort of guide the diet by the way you cook and by what you what you buy in the house uh but as far as trying to force them to join mm -hmm. you it's not going to happen but do find find fun activities that's the other thing people think that exercising has to be oh let's go <laughs> run let's go lift weights you don't have to do that anything that you're doing to move your body is an activity that is that can be considered exercise right. so it can be going on these walks it can be skating it can be playing basketball together it could be like we had an air hockey tape it could be so many different things working in the yard together just any of that stuff, wrestling around the house, horseplay, all of those things can be, yes, you know, all of them, that too, that, that, okay, that's one of the best ways to burn calories. I actually know, I have a friend who's a personal trainer too. She said she looked at her watch one day and noticed she hadn't burned as much, as many calories as she wanted to. Mm -hmm. So she decided to earn those calories in another way. <laughs> <laughs> earn them, I like said, it. Earn them, that man it. was like, baby, boy, you were really into it today. She said she he had no idea. I was just trying to burn some extra calories. <laughs> no, I love it. I love it. Listen, you gotta get it in the way you 
can get it in. Get it in. Get it in. It's just a matter of how we look at it. You know, you should have fun with whatever you do. And especially if you're trying mm-hmm. to bring your partner along, make it a fun activity. I like it. I like it. Yeah, I like it. So I, I'm really taking some of this in too, because uh, yeah, I'm looking at him. <laughs> well, we actually work out. We just don't work out a lot together. So I mm-hmm. want to do more activities, like you're saying. So I'm trying to think of more fun things to do. Mm-hmm. I just started recently picking up hiking around um, the San Diego area. And it's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So I'm trying to encourage, yeah. encourage <laughs> yeah. my hubby to come along with me. Yeah. So, so, but can I add to that with the activity, like say, for instance, if you say you are encouraging your, you want to invite your husband and encourage your husband, combine mm-hmm. it with something else. Hey, let's go hiking. But then afterwards, let's go here. You know, something that you know that he enjoys too. Oh, let's I like stop that. by this store. Let's go grab something to eat. Let's go grab a drink. You know, any of those things, because what it is about is uh, creating memories and finding those yeah. alignments. So it's it's a give and take. Okay, so let's let's go on a hike and it's going to be mm-hmm. beautiful. But even with that, shoot, bring along, you know, one of your favorite snacks or, you know, drinks or something, just something that you all can enjoy while you're on that hike. Just combine the activities. Yeah, I- Thank you. I love that. <laughs> Hopefully you all are taking this in because I'm loving these tips right here. <laughs> so, so now you brought up that you focus on mindset or at least, you know, I read that, right? So how important is mindset for the couple when it comes to staying fit and in love? Look here. It's all a commitment. Mm. If you don't understand the importance of it, like truly, truly comprehend it and take it in, just going through the motions won't work. How many times have couples decided, yeah, let's go to counseling, but their hearts aren't in it? True right? story. True story. Mm-hmm. They, they go in, as, as Marshawn Lynch said, I'm just here so I don't get fined. That's how they come into it. So it doesn't work. Mm-hmm. And it's the same thing when it comes to fitness. If you just say, like, if you look at it as a necessary evil, it's not going to work. It shouldn't be considered as evil. A lot of people say exercise Mm. is a necessary evil, so I do it. If I say it this way, am I really giving my all? No, I'm not. But if Mm -hmm. I say, you know what? I understand, as I tell my clients, that 30 minutes is only 2% of your day. 2% of your day. Think about it that way. When you put it in perspective. And so Mm -hmm. I call that the deposit. Make your 2% deposit into your goals. If you don't, so it's, it's a difference from saying, you know, oh, this is a necessary evil, or I have 98% of the day where I'm doing what? So it's about switching Sitting up. around eating bonbons. <laughs> right. And you can eat you some bonbons, but make your deposit. I make like your it. deposit. And I look at it, you know, it is a relationship with yourself, with food, just like your relationship with your mate. You know, you have to be committed to the longevity of it and say, okay, what, what's my role in this? And really look at it as a role. You know, how they say mm-hmm. it's not a, you know, relationships is not 50-50. Both partners have to give 100%. It's not 50-50. Mm-hmm. It's 100% nope. on both sides. And you have to be 100% committed to your health and fitness, but that does not mean that you have to be perfect. That's the issue. A lot of people mm-hmm. think that they have to be perfect. They have to eat clean. They have to exercise 12 hours a day, seven days a week. No, you do not. Just be committed to what your goals are. You have to be committed to what your goals are. You have to understand how it all works together and um, be appreciative of it. Mm-hmm. Be appreciative of it because at some point, we're not going to be able to use our bodies like we can now. Absolutely. So while you're able, you have to be willing. Because mm-hmm. one day you're going to be like, man, I wish I could go lift some weights. I wish mm-hmm. I could mm-hmm. go for that. Or I wish I could go running. And then you're going to think back on all of those days, weeks, months, years that you wasted not using and respecting your body. And mm-hmm. that's why I say you have to understand that first. It's just, and it's, you know, it's, I feel like everything is temporary. Even if it's pain, it's temporary. But the feeling you get after you finish that workout, oh, oh, come on now. Especially with that good, strong workout. You get, then you get that confidence again. Now you're walking around your boo again, and it's just a whole other cycle. And especially when you all do it together, when you don't think mm-hmm. that you could hike a whole five miles, but you did it. You know, now I'm looking at my man like, wow, he did five miles. He's looking at his wife like, wow. 
she did five miles. My wife is bad. Yeah. You know, and, and it, even though they may not say it, we may not verbally say it, 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 it translates in different ways. Yeah, I love that. What well, man, I, I'm loving that. I, I felt the passion on all of that too. And so <laughs> what I gathered from it is that no matter what the time limit is that you're putting on it, whatever you commit to is what you should give your all to doing. So whether it's 30 minutes, 45, an hour, et cetera, just give your all during that time frame so you can shed or tone, shan the weight, tone up or whatever it is that you're trying to do, whatever your goal is, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Perfect. Perfect. And okay, so I one heard rebel one second at a time. That's the other thing. Break it down into smaller chunks. A lot of people think about that too. A 30 minute run. It's like, oh, 30 minute run. Don't look at it that way. Just in your head. Okay, three minutes. Oh, that three minutes went by fast. I'm such a nerd. I'll say, oh, three minutes. I just have to do that nine more times. I can do that. I really calculate and do math in my head while I'm exercising. But breaking <laughs> it down into small chunks gives you a lot of wins. Mm -hmm. it gives you a lot of wins and that's how you know you have to look at it you have to keep winning so you can keep patting yourself on the back because if you look at it as a, a, a big goal it can be so daunting that you don't give your all to it because you're like oh how am I going to get there as opposed to saying oh I, I can do two minutes oh, I did two, two minutes I could do two more minutes you know just breaking it down that way as well and that's the thing you have to find what you enjoy what you enjoy because what's good for one person is not mm -hmm. always good for the other that's good you know, and I don't you know it makes me sad when people say oh I gotta do this oh I'm doing this because I gotta lose weight like no, no 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 let's stop let's just think about the things that you enjoy mm -hmm. don't force yourself there are all there are too many ways to reach our goal than to uh suffer through any of it you should never feel like you're suffering. That's, that's why my business called fitness is not a game for a reason. I say fitness is fun, but it's not a game. It should be whatever you're doing, you should enjoy. If you don't like running, don't do it. Right. Don't do yep. it. Makes if sense. Don't, like voice, don't do it. There's <laughs> so many other things you can do to reach your goals. Mm -hmm. You know, we can always find something. Always find something. That makes that sense. Works. Perfect sense. Perfect sense. Mm -hmm. Find something that you like. That way you enjoy it the entire time and you're not even thinking of it as exercise. Yeah. You're just having fun. Yeah. Burning calories at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So now you brought up food earlier. So now how much does food play a part in getting and staying fit? That's a shame. I don't know if you noticed, but I started dancing as soon as you said food. I, I did like, notice that actually. <laughs> I, like food. Because even when you were reading the bio and you said avocado, I was like, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> It is so funny because people think uh, because of what I do that I don't eat, that I, you know, I eat clean all the time and, you know, blah, blah, blah. No, this girl eats. Do not get it twisted. I enjoy food a lot. But what I, food is so important because that's typically where the disconnect is. Okay. From where you are to where you want to be. That barrier is typically the food. It's not the Oh, let's hear more about that. It's, let's hear it's more about how that. In, it's how and what we eat. And not just because I heard you heard me say, I believe in balance. I'm not saying restrict yourself on from anything, but it's about how we look at food. Do we feel that we have to, and it's unfortunate. Oh, I'm trying not to go too long and deep in this, but typically how we respond to food right now is based on how we were raised. So if mm -hmm. you um, feel like you ate something bad, right? So now you can't have dessert or you can't have, uh, you can't, I know people who still right now won't drink anything until they finish their entire plate. I know people right the now- The conditioning, the yeah, conditioning. <laughs> Uh, I know people right now who still sneak food. They still feel embarrassed by how much they eat. They're, mm. you know, so when you think about that, it's not what we're eating, it's why we're eating. Does that make sense? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because perfect. when you are, when you know you're full, but you're still eating, if you eat, eat, eat until you're full, because we know that we're, you know, it takes about 20 minutes for your food to digest. 
make your serving, make your plate, eat it, give it a minute. But we're so conditioned, just keep eating, 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 eating. And too often we lean on food as they call it comfort food for a reason. We find solace in it. And a lot of people say, oh, I stress eat. It's not stress eating. What it is, is that some other part of your life has thrown you off kilter where you feel like you can't control that. So what do you do? You take control by doing something you're not supposed to do. Now you're eating something bad because you say, you know what? I can't control this, but guess what? I'm going to eat this then. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go and eat this. Who's going to stop? Who going to check me, boo? You know, so, and because nobody stress eats with, with salmon and steamed broccoli. Sure don't. <laughs> no, you're right. <laughs> it's all these things that we've been told we're not supposed to have. There's nothing wrong with a candy bar. There's nothing wrong with ice cream. There's nothing wrong with cake. There's nothing wrong with fried chicken. But when we lean on it to solve all of our other issues or when we feel like that's all we are going to have, then that's when it becomes an issue. So what I always ask people, or what I encourage people to do is when it's time for them to eat, ask themselves, does this align with my goals? And that just the question for that is, if I eat this all the time, Will mm -hmm. I go closer towards my goals or veer away from my goals? And if the answer is that it veer away, that doesn't mean that you shouldn't eat it. Just be mindful of it. Like, right. Because sometimes you need that cake. You need that fried chicken. You need that pizza. <laughs> but ask yourself, okay, so I had my pizza and I veered off a little bit, but what do I do to just realign and get back in, mm -hmm. in, in line? Because it's balanced. I don't like cheat days and cheat meals. Why are you, what are you cheating from? What are you cheating from? This is not a cheat. You decided you want a doggone pizza that day. Okay. That is one meal out of 21. You see okay. what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, I do. Perfect way to look at it because most and, people and are not looking at it like that. No. The, no. And so that's what I say. It's all about here. Because if I tell myself it's a cheat day, then guess what? Now I'm going to say, well, it's a cheat day, so I'm just going to keep on. So instead of just saying I'm allowing myself to have pizza for this one out of 21 meals, because I'm cheating, I may as well just keep on cheating it. You know yeah. what? I'm going to have this. I'm going to have this. I'm going to have this. So one out of 21 turned into three out of 21. And then, oh, it's the weekend, so I may as well just keep on going. So one out of 21 turned into six out of 21. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah. it's the whole how we look at the food as opposed to what we're eating. You can eat whatever you want to. It's mm -hmm. just how you, how you uh, put it in your life, what, what role it plays in your life. Because we eat pizza every dog on Friday here, pizza wings, and I have my wine every Friday. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, well now, now let me ask you this, because this sounds like a, a new concept for most people, right? Because most mm -hmm. people are, are so used to their fitness um, trainer telling them not to eat all of this stuff. And now you're on the opposite end. So uh, why aren't more people teaching it like you so we don't feel like we are deprived from anything? I can't answer that because I don't understand it either. To me, it's just here. But I think mm -hmm. it's because we've been conditioned, just like mm -hmm. we've been conditioned to um, believe that foods are good or bad. We've also been conditioned to say that exercise is a necessary evil. You know, it's just, I don't know how we got to this point. I don't know mm -hmm. how we got to this point. Mm -hmm. And um, I don't like when, I don't like the drill sergeant aspect of you gotta lose weight, you gotta, 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 because anyone can lose weight. Yeah. Anyone can lose weight, but can you keep it off? I can drink all the teas in the world, I can detox, and that's a whole nother discussion. Mm -hmm. Don't y'all don't make it, don't think I'm uh saying do that stuff. No, that was sarcasm. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> don't do it. Um, okay. but I can follow all of these things for 30 days, 60 days, you know, get myself ready for this trip, get myself ready for this wedding. But if I go right back to doing what I did before guess what? The weight is going to come back because mm, I didn't change story. my lifestyle. Mm -hmm. You know, 80% of people who gain at least 10% of their weight gain it back and possibly more. 80% yeah, of the time. Lot. That's why people do this yo-yo because they're trying all of this stuff left and right, left and right. The average adult would try 55 diets in their lifetime. That's way dollars. too many. No, that's way too many. That's way too many. 
And, and you're talking about like all of the different names, right? The different yeah. names of the diets. Yeah. Or all these different things they heard about, you know, uh, you know, oh, yeah, sure. I'm pay, uh, I'm doing following the paleo diet now. Oh, I'm pescatarian. Oh, I'm doing keto. Oh, I'm doing mm, low yeah. carb. Oh, I'm doing the zone. Oh, I'm doing Weight Watchers. Oh, I'm doing Nutrisystem. Oh, you know, just think about all these different things that people are trying. I just listed yeah, what ate them right there. Yeah, that. Yeah, and somebody probably was like, I did that, 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 that. <laughs> I didn't even include the teas, the fat burners, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all of those different things, you know, so is, I don't know how we got to this, you know, let me stop. We are a microwave society. We want everything to be done right then and there. Okay. We right, don't right. want to look at it as in a, in a holistic way. And I was just like, just making it a routine is part of our day. It's part of our day. That's our 2% deposit for, for 30 minutes out of a day. I'm going to do something for me, for my body, for my health. And it doesn't mm -hmm. even have this. This is another misconception. It does not have to be a continuous 30 days. I mean, 30 minutes. You can split it up throughout the day. Just have the yeah. mindset of doing something to keep this body moving. Because I tell you, one day you won't be able to use it. I, I, one of my favorite quotes came from Floyd when they said, every breath is blessed responsibility. And I think about that with my health because there are people who are fighting for their lives there are people who cannot do the things that we can do and to me i feel it's disrespectful to those who can't because i can yeah. because i can and also it's just I, I we need to change that perspective we need to change that thought process it's not necessarily evil it's not evil at all it's actually a great thing for you because once you start mm -hmm. seeing those results it becomes addictive you know so it's just i don't know i just want us to make changes make changes because it's just leading us down a really unhealthy path. The truth yeah. is. Yeah, I love it. Okay, well, let's um, go to the last question, which okay. is, what question do you think that couples mm -hmm. should be asking you, but they're not? Maybe because they just don't know that this is the question that they should be asking, or maybe they're a little too scared because of you know one thing or another. What's the mm. question? I think it's, I think you touched on it earlier, just how it, um, how it can impact their relationships and sex lives. I think that's a, a lot of people are afraid to ask that question um, because no one wants to admit, first of all, you don't want to experience it, but you definitely don't want to admit that there may be some, um, what's the word, some challenges in the bedroom. And I, mm -hmm. um, and not just the physical aspect of it, but when we're not comfortable with how we look in the mirror, I told you those slouching shoulders, how to get mm -hmm. that confidence back, how to do it together. I think that's how to, I, I, I have some people ask, how do I get my spouse to look at me the same way again? But a lot of people don't ask that enough. They don't, they are not honest with that's what they're looking for because I get asked, oh, how could I lose 20 pounds in a month? And I always ask, why did you choose that number? Because typically the number is not what you're looking for. You're looking for a feeling. So let's dig deeper on what 20 pounds lighter means to you. I like it. What did you, what do you, mm -hmm. what does that feel like? Oh, I'm wearing this. I feel this way. Okay, there we go. So what you want is to catch your spouse looking at you again. You want to, you know, you want the towel to wrap all the way around you to come out shower. You know, let's just be Stop playing with me. You know I'm not lying. You're not lying. I just wasn't ready. <laughs> but those types of things, and I, I think that people are afraid to get into the feeling aspect of it because we think that fitness is just all about the vanity and what's on the outside, but it definitely mm -hmm. is on the inside first. Now, when you don't feel good about yourself, you can't project that love into anyone else because you're still finding it for yourself. So uh, I think that's one of the biggest questions that needs to be asked on what can I do to feel good about myself again so that I can uh, project the love that's in me that I know that needs to come out, but I just, I don't feel like I love me yet. And I know it's because I'm unhappy with what I see in the mirror. And if I don't like what I see in the mirror, they can't like it either. And so, and we project it on them whether they feel their way or not. You know, they may still, they may like a little extra thick on you. Like, I like that's that. True. That's true. But because you're uncomfortable now, you don't want them to touch you. And they're like, baby, I like it. So it's just, it can, the, the, the question needs to be, what can I do here 
it, it will translate outwardly. It will. I love it. I love it. Well, thank you, Miss Crystal Taylor, for coming and speaking to the Marshawn O community. So now let us know where they can find you if they yeah. want to reach out, because I know that you help people virtually as well, correct? I do. So okay. I like to tell people I'm on all the old people platform. I'm not on a tickety top. <laughs> the tickety top. Okay. Not the tickety top, <laughs> but I'm on, I am on the Facebook, on the Instagram. <laughs> But you can find me on Facebook, Instagram. Um, fitness is not a game for both. Um, I will tell you on Facebook, the best place to be is in the group, in the fitness is not a game group. We Perfect. do have a page, but the group is where it happens, where it's a community of mm -hmm. folks who are all working towards a healthier lifestyle. So that's where you can get to find, uh, I like, we call them borrowed workouts. We borrow each other's workouts, mm -hmm. meals, and things like that. So you can find me there. And you can also email me at ktaylor at fitnessisnightagame.com. Okay, you've heard it all right here. I'll definitely have the information um, down below so you can check Miss Crystal Taylor out and her fitness is not a game. I want to thank you all for taking a few moments out of your day, no matter what time of day it is for you to come and hang out with us. And if you have any questions, definitely um, leave them down below and Crystal will answer them. I will make sure that she gets them um, so you can uh, have a conversation with her. I love you guys. There's nothing that you can do about it. And thank you so much for hanging out with us today. Bye now.